Good morning, everybody. Kurt Risch here, and thanks for joining me on The One Shepherd, where we support seekers and believers. So this morning, we are picking up with our Old Testament reading of Genesis chapter 5. This is the book of the genealogy of Adam. In the day that God created man, he made him in the likeness of God. He created them male and female, and blessed them, and called them mankind in the day they were created. And Adam lived 130 years, and begot a son, in his own likeness, after his image, and named him Seth. After he begot Seth, the days of Adam were 800 years, and he had sons and daughters. So all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Seth lived 105 years and begot Enosh. After he begot Enosh, Seth lived 807 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Seth were 912 years, and he died. Enosh lived 90 years and begot Canaan. After he begot Canaan, Enosh lived 815 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enosh were 905 years, and he died. Canaan lived 70 years and begot Mahalalel. After he begot Mahalalel, Canaan lived 840 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Canaan were 910 years and he died. Mahalalel lived 65 years and begot Jared. After he begot Jared, Mahalalel lived 830 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Mahalalel were 895 years and he died. Jared lived 162 years and begot Enoch. After he begot Enoch, Jared lived 800 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Jared were 962 years, and he died. Enoch lived 65 years and begot Methuselah. After he begot Methuselah, Enoch walked with God 300 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Enoch were 365 years, and Enoch walked with God, and he was not. Where God took him. So we have a word study here this morning, guys. Uh, the word is walked, and the Hebrew for that is halak. We just saw that word being used in uh, here in chapter 4 in verse 24, but we also see it in multiple other verses, and the Strong's Concordance number is 1980. The basic meaning of the Hebrew word translated here as walk is to go or to travel. The word is used often in the Old Testament to signify merely a simple act of motion, uh, such as Genesis chapter 13, verse 17, and 2 Samuel 11, 2. Here and in Genesis 6, 9 and other passages, the word possesses connotations of a habitual manner of life or a constant relationship with God. Thus, the word describes Noah, Enoch, and other people of faith as living in close relationship with their God and in obedience to his commands. Throughout scripture, believers are called to walk with God daily, abiding in him completely, such as in Galatians 5.16 and 1 John 2.6. All right, let's go ahead. We'll continue with verse 20, 25. Methuselah lived 187 years and begot Lamech. After he begot Lamech, Methuselah lived 782 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. Lamech lived 182 years and had a son. And he called his name Noah, saying, This one, or, this one will comfort us concerning our work and toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord has cursed. After he begot Noah, Lamech lived 595 years and had sons and daughters. So all the days of Lamech were 777 years and he died. And Noah was 500 years old and Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Guys, that's it for our Old Testament reading of Genesis chapter 5. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to join me this evening as we continue in the New Testament book of Matthew. In the meantime, have a great day and God bless.